Yes, question 10 is different. We're having some excitement because it's concentration now and volume and oh my god. All right, let's start with, I don't even know what, what that was. Um, let's start with reading the question again. We had to determine the number of mole. Well, you had to, I had to determine. You should do this question yourself before you read, watch this video. Determine the amount in mole of the precipitate. So once again, the precipitate is just the solid product that you have so products on this side so the solid product is barium sulfate in this case i need to find the amount in moles i need to find n a barium sulfate that's the unknown that can be formed from a reaction using 200 ml and 0.45 mole per liter this is volume and this is concentration and it is in reference to barium nitrate. Okay, so the volume of barium nitrate is 200 ml, and the concentration of barium nitrate is 0 0.45 mole per liter. It's very important to, well, again, once you get better, you can keep track of these things without writing it down. But in this, this is the first example with the volume and concentration. So I would, because you, you want to make sure that you have the volume and the concentration of the same solution. So you basically have two solutions mixed together. Barium nitrate, it's mixed with sodium sulfate. This is the only, you only give an information relating to barium nitrate. So everything is it's it's easy in this case and the question is that if you use this much barium nitrate which i think we're going to have to make an assumption that this is a complete reaction which means that all of the barium nitrate will be used since i don't have anything other information i cannot not make that assumption um all right and you have to use this to work out the number of mole barium sulfate an equation is given so i bet i can use mole ratio which means i need to convert this Two pieces of information, these two pieces of information on volume and concentration to a number of mole. The concentration is given to me in mole per liter, which means that I want, I probably want to convert the volume to 0.2 liter. There's a few ways to approach a concentration question. This is molar concentration, which is the one that you're probably going to see the most in exams. And there is a formula that people do remember which is n equal to c times v i i don't always encourage remembering this formula simply because there are so many other forms of concentration out there uh, but that's that's one way the other one is just probably just to look at the the ratio so you know that this is a concentration of the solutions which is 0 0.45 mole per liter so it is an indication of the ratio between the number of mole and the volume, which is 0 0.45 over 1. So this in this solution of barium nitrate, for every liter of solution, there are 0 0.45 mole. You actually have 0 0.2 liter. So you that's one way to, to kind of work out what the, um, you can use it to work out what the number of mole is. So this is N of barium nitrate. Wow, that is so not a B. So this is another way if you don't remember the formula to find the concentration and you want to, you, you can very easily just look at the unit of a concentration and, and if you really understand that it is just a representation of a ratio between the amount of solute and the, the, the amount of solution, then you should, should be able to create any formula that you need. So the number of mole barium nitrate, BaNO3, 2 is just going to be 0 0.45 over 1 times 0 0.2. So this is this step may seem redundant for those who remember the N equals CV equation, but it will be useful when you have a, a concentration that is not mole per liter. I think my main issue is people don't realize when they have a concentration that's not mole per liter and just uses for every single thing. So if I give you percentage mass by mass and you still use this formula, then you have an issue. All right, the number of mole of barium sulfate is the same as the number of mole of barium nitrate because of a one-to-one -one 
ratio from the equation. So I am going to skip that step. So this is 0 0.09 mole. Actually, I only need to find the mole, so I'm done. Maybe not, because I can't box a number. I need three, six, uh, two significant figures, 0 0.090. Final answer? Easy. That's question 10.